Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again. You caught me at breakfast. I'm having a super nice acai bowl. So good. And we're getting ready for a weekend of punishment. My reading has been so has been so so bad. I pretty much have to do all the challenges, right? But I do also feel like I have an excuse. Um, if you check out my channel, you know why. My life this year has been up and down, so many things at once. I feel like I have to do all the challenges. Green is green with envy, only eating what somebody in front of me ate. And I have decided not to do that here because I'm in such a touristy area with oftentimes so many kids. And for example, now I needed breakfast in the hotel because I honestly, this is what I can afford um, because it's included in my trip. But I'm in Miami Beach. Nobody else is having breakfast right now. So there's nobody I can go and go behind. There's nobody, um, there's big families that I would go behind. And that does not make sense to then eat a family's meal. So instead what I'm doing is I ask for the waiter's recommendation, for the waiter's favorite, for the waiter's... Um, so either the last person who who ordered something, if they don't want to give a recommendation, their personal favorite or a recommendation, and that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and yeah, this is the acai bowl that the waiter here at the Esme Hotel really likes. We do need to get going for something that's out of my comfort zone or something that scares me. Um, I also said that I would always be okay with doing something new and we will cover one of those by doing an Everglades airboat trip. I'm scared of gators. Let's go see some gators. from like the little animal show that I... yeah um, and it's not what I thought I ordered so I'm not sure what to think right now um, it definitely took me out of my comfort zone but for other reasons than I thought it would it took me out of my comfort zone because that is not an experience that I would have paid $70 for and now I don't know we're just sitting here waiting um, enough time for us to purchase stuff here, I guess. But I guess we can take out of my comfort zone of um, the box. Um, I do feel like I need to get some food soon, but I don't want to get food here. It would be easy to line up after somebody and just get the same things to fulfill the prompts, but um, it's so overpriced and it looks so bad. I don't know. I, I no. I do feel a little bit conflicted about a few things that I saw here and uh, how it was set up but at the end of the day I guess I was part of the problem and I did not say no to things either and I guess that's just how it was. Um, Alright, we're back in Miami. 
I would say let's go and find something to eat. Um, I'll try and find a place that has like small portion things so I can hopefully ask for like their appetizer bestseller because I do not want to buy a $30 dish and then only eat like a tiny piece of it. That's just a waste of food. And this challenge just has to deal with that. Kaisers, uh, grilled combo, beef, mm -hmm. chicken. Uh, this one's our new menu. Mostly seafood, mm -hmm. ceviches, sushi, piraditos, sour bread. So while we wait for the food that the server recommended, I think with the lemonade, I probably would have just gone with water, but because he pretty much said lemonade works, I can't have any carbonated um, drinks. And even though the uh, challenge would strictly make me drink carbonated drinks, um, I it's not the day it's not the day to risk it so it sounds really good so while we wait i am starting part four and so far i'm almost half through the book we have not been talking about food once or drinks but i have hopes that we start talking about it a little bit um, but if not, so tomorrow I want to do a day of just eat. Oh, want to do the day of just eating what is written in a book for a day. So strictly for the challenge, I would have to read tomorrow and only can eat whatever I find tomorrow. That's not gonna work if I am um, like I cannot go and starve if nothing in here is food. <laughs> Ever. So what I'm going to do is I will read, note down all the food that I find today. And if I finish the book tomorrow, my thoughts totally don't make sense. So let's go half for today. If I get to... Hola. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's like 300 yeah, 360 pages, so see. So if I get to part six, if I read part four and five today, and there's no food in all of these two parts, then I'm go I can eat whatever I want. And now, try it. had some food and I feel like I want to say hey challenge completed but no the day is not over we still have to help someone and we have to pay for someone's food or drink somebody after midnight and I am thinking if I should just go and maybe buy somebody a dinner at McDonald's or something there are there way than enough. There is, there's enough people that would need that type of thing, and that I can actually afford. Not a whole family, because me broke. So I am on my way to McDonald's. I do think that here, oftentimes you have homeless people at McDonald's because there is cheap food, and they're then like eating from the dollar menu. And if I can find somebody that I can buy a meal, this could either count as purchasing something for somebody or helping someone. Aside from that, I feel like it might be hard to do either one, but I really wanted to check out some food stands because I am such a fan of tropical food, especially if they're like fresh and uh, in the region that they've been grown. And I've had two recommendations for food stands and one recommendation comes with a clear recommendation to drink a milkshake there. So I'm hoping to go there grab a milkshake that somebody else has ordered so staying within the challenge and then also potentially buying somebody milkshake if that works i have ticked off a couple of challenges today and then tomorrow we're going to do definitely going to do something that frightens me you will be surprised like i'm not going to tell you what we're going to do tomorrow uh, for something that frightens me but I have mad respect and I don't know what 
possessed me today to like last minute book this. I think it was because I knew I needed something that frightens me, but also because I was a little bit disappointed. A little bit. Mm, I was a lot disappointed about that trip. I felt so deceived that with that trip to the Everglades. So now we're doing something that frightens me. Big time. Big, big time. <laughs> Can I buy you a meal? Just want that pizza. What do you want? Uh, I just saw uh, a Whopper. They don't have Whopper. Do you want like Big Mac or yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, like, um, what do they have? Quarter pounder, uh, I think. No, a hamburger. Just a hamburger. Hamburger with fries. Oh, uh, just a hamburger. Just a burger? Are just you sure? Yeah, just a hamburger with uh, with some water. Just with water? That's a soda. You know, you know how to go. Soda. Yeah, yeah. a uh, hamburger with some water as uh, soda. So. so just water, soda, yeah, water, soda, and, and hamburger. Okay. He just wants a burger and water. Uh-uh. It doesn't feel right. I asked, but it doesn't feel right. I also got you an apple pie, they're still making it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking, yeah. They're still making an apple pie for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there's always going to be somebody at McDonald's that needs food, I think. And I feel like they know. Um, it's ridiculous. You can really get like a burger and a drink for like $3. And. For me, getting a meal for three dollars is not a lot. It's just funny. I feel like I've been waiting there for like 15 minutes for a simple meal, and the person who I bought it for uh, went and left before that last apple pie came that I put into the order. I thought, hey, give him something, something more than just a burger. But it took forever cooking, so I felt like I was waiting forever, and by the time I was still waiting another person came in pretty much asking if somebody can buy them food and normally I would be like I just did that and um, also I don't like begging that much um, I'd much rather it come from me but we were already waiting he didn't he denied the uh, apple pie he just wanted fries and like a water I was like come on I'm just gonna get him burger fries a water and that apple pie I mean, it's not hurting me, so I don't even feel that good about it taking off a challenge. I don't know. We have 45 minutes to drive to Robert's here and he closed at 6, so we will just make it when he closes. So let's, let's get going and hope that we arrive and get some amazing fruit and hopefully a milkshake <laughs> for per pound jackfruit. I don't know what am I eating. 
twenty dollars the pound or something. But not too bad. And this is like plastic with plastic and plastic. Wait. Holy shit, that's good. Oh, wow. Mm. We have done. Pay for something, somebody behind me. Check on out of my comfort zone with the tourist attraction. Check on eating what somebody ate before me or like the special favorite or whatever. Helping someone uh, paid two meals for homeless people in McDonald's. Paid for somebody in line after me. The only thing we still need to do tomorrow is figure out black on white and purple and then we did challenges for all the hearts the book yesterday did not give us any food whatsoever if you do not call insect sporal fungi I mean, that's kind of the words that i came across um thank you alien species food um, well, not all of it was considered food, but anyways. So, yeah, I, um, I don't know, but I reached my reading goal, so. So no matter what I'm deciding in terms of food. Mm, how I missed that yesterday. So we're only a few minutes away from the place and I'm getting super nervous. Like, super nervous. <laughs> what have I done? I can see planes um, taking off. I can see the this little airport and oh my god, my heart. Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. There you go. This though, as you can see, there are few instruments. back in my car I am shaking this was surreal amazing beautiful scary everything at the same time oh I mean I'm glad that I did it I would never have done this if I wouldn't challenge myself to these experiences because of this punishment um, thing that I set up so thank you for making me do this in a way I guess um, if you have any challenges that you would like for me to see in a for the category of doing something that scares me or doing something out of my comfort zone that's also like just trying something new if you have ideas let me know while the plane was going up the takeoff was surreal I was shitting my pants um, and then it just was so unstable what it felt like and it really felt like 
um, I was sitting in a um, studio, like in a film studio, and this plane was on strings and somebody was pulling it because of the way that it moved and this like very quick and rash movements that felt uncontrollable and just like small movements, but then still staying in the air somewhat like the same. It just felt like the movie kept playing and we were just bouncing a little bit and uh, then getting back to our original position. It was really weird, but oh my boy, what a rush! Ah, oh, and am I glad that I did it? Yes! Yeah.